wooden picnic today. Our forecast an 80% chance of poor precipitation. Oh, oh poo. I think I let the sun roof open on my slug bug. Well, that's life in the picnic. I'm off for the first day of school, Mom. I can't wait to see my little teacher. Hey, here comes Spencer. He's gonna blow a gasket. You like school like I like me. <laughs> And to get us started off this year, I've got an exciting assignment. Now, who here can tell me what a diary is? It's what you get from eating too much asparagus. No, it's milk, cheese, ice cream, you know, diary products. Milk and cheese are dairy products. A diary is a kind of journal for writing your most personal thoughts and things that happen to you. Have any of you ever done anything really great? Oh, me! Anything cool? <laughs> anything you're really proud of? I me! That's great. Now go home and write it all down. I've got to get home and think of some cool things I can put in my diary. With my imagination, this will be a cinch. I'll really impress Miss Bell. I was always eager to do my homework, too. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh? Hello? <laughs> What's wrong with this door? I guess I need my key. Wouldn't it be cool if nobody was home and I could study in peace? Hello? Anybody home? It's gotta be my house. It's got that same smell, like fried bologna and onions. Hello? Mom? Dad? Could it be? Could I really have the whole house to myself? Yeah! This'll be easy. Cool things happen to me all the time. Obviously, Spencer has forgotten something. He's supposed to tell the truth. <laughs> be honest. Remember what you write in your diary is private. Only I and a few other teachers will be reading your darkest secrets out loud. <laughs> but wait, the only thing that happened to me today was a total bummer. That's the last thing I would want anybody to know about. What you are about to see is top secret and maybe disturbing for some boys. Hello there, Spencer. Hi, Tiffany. I want you to look at my bony hand and propose to me. I know you want to marry my hand. <laughs> See my peaches and cream, do you? Yeah, you're a peach. Now you tell me you love my curls and can't wait to grow up and marry them. Huh? I can't wait to you walk. You better prove all that, Spencer. No one can resist my gentle nature. I hope the whole class didn't hear that. I'd rather marry a Gila monster than Tiffany Von Hootenberg. But Tiffany isn't the kind of mushy slush stuff I want in my diary. Oh, this girl stuff is so embarrassing. At least no one heard all that. Heard all what? Hey, Lizzie, what are you doing under my desk? Nothing, just playing hide and seek with Mom. I found you both. Hi, Mom. Did you hear all that? About Tiffany? Your future wife? Meet Spencer's little sister, Dizzy <laughs> Lizzie, and their mom. Spencer, you haven't been spending all your time doing homework, have you? Uh-uh. Has you, Mom? Dizzy! Hmm, a mom who tells her son not to do his homework. <sighs> Spencer, I know your grades are important, and you are getting straight A's, but staying cooped up in your room can lead to a vitamin D deficiency, which could lead to rickets. Look at your father. He always makes time for fun. <laughs> See what's so darn funny, boss? All we said was we wanted a raise. Part of being a good employee is always listening to your boss's jokes. Why didn't I marry a lumberjack? Mom, please stop it. I was why, 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 done anyway. Why, why, I'll go and play. We play. All fun today. Alrighty then. All children should go outside to play in the fresh air and sunshine. But not till the show's over. I'm going out to play with Eggman and Angus, Mom. Alrighty, Spencer. Make your mom proud. You just go out there and play and get as dirty as a little badger or a worm. Angus and Eggman said to meet at the sushi place. 
Why do we pick this place as our clubhouse anyway? It's cool under here, and besides, we don't pay rent. Yeah. It's a great place, but it does smell like codfish. And a fish head fell through a crack. Maybe it's because I'm behind Eggman, but that sure isn't the fish I'm smelling. Wow, check out the sludgesaur. Yeah, we've got the whole set. And what parents love is how all these expensive cards will be completely worthless by next year. Be? Isn't that funny? I've got a lummox. Whoa! I'm sludgesaur! My favorite. Oh, and Spencer. Yeah. I think it's terrific about your friend, Tiffany. Your girlfriend. <laughs> Let us know when you decide on your wedding day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for what Miss Spell told us about our personal privacy. <coughs> your diary is a safe place for your deepest secrets. <coughs> I only wrote all that stuff about Tiffany because I thought no one would ever know. Spencer's had a very tough day, but he is taking it calmly. If everyone wants to read my diary, that's fine! I'll just fill the whole darn thing with... Your diary. Today, I flew a mission in my F-16 fighter. Then, for lunch, when my mom served me lobster, I noticed her neck had grown a lot. I'd like to see some busybody fall for this tail. <laughs> mom was stretch neck. Spencer, your lobster is ready. What's the matter, Spencer? Stretch neck then, huh, Lizzie? Alrighty then. Whee! Daddy's here! What's going on, guys? Well, now, that should be obvious, hon. Ah, playing stretch neck, eh? Whee! <laughs> <laughs> well, have fun. Watch out for those flower lines, dear. Everything I put in my diary came true. I got all raised it all. Spencer, what's wrong? <laughs> Is everything okay? Huh? You know, how's your head? She's normal again. At least her neck is. Did I imagine the whole thing? Stretch two, three, your neck two, three. Something weird is going on with this diary. There's no way what just happened really just happened. Lizzie! It's got to be a figment of somebody's imagination. I'll draw something for dinner we'd never have in a million years. Cry pencil ball. Spencer, time for dinner. Dad, I didn't know you were here. Wherever I go, there I am. Spence, did you eat the last of the veal, Oscar? Yeah, I'm sorry. Hey! hey what's, what's for dinner, dinner Ma? Fried pencil ball. Yeah! Yeah, wouldn't you know it? That's what I had for lunch today. This can't be happening. Ugh. Looks just delicious, hon. Dig in, everybody, before your pencil balls get cold. I think. But there's no such thing as fried pencil ball. My imagination's really powerful. They're actually eating pencil. This is too weird. Try this at home. My diary can't be doing all this stuff. People stretching their necks, eating fried pencils. It's just impossible. I need a real test. Let's not get carried away now, Spencer. I will now draw something that's completely outrageous. Pigs, but not ordinary pigs. Flying pigs. 
squadrons of pigs filling the skies with their porky pink presence. And the whole population will be overcome by fear as they pay for all the times they've eaten bacon thoughtlessly. Nothing can stop the onslaught of ham from the heavens. Uh, except for bedtime. Night, night. At my wedding, I'll have 5,000 doves. And someone to clean up, too. Who's making all that grunting so early in the morning? It can't be! Tell me that's some new kind of car alarm! Pigs! Thousands of flying pigs! It really happens! They're flying over the whole city! Wow! They look even better than my drawing! I gotta fix the color, though. They need more pink. What am I saying? Look for low-flying pigs in the morning with the chance of them blocking out the sun later today. Hey, Dad! Pig today! Hmm, they said it'd be raining cats and dogs. Well, it's just here and there I don't mind it so much. But you know, they ruined the paint on my car. Uh, what have I done here? It was just a drawing. Uh, the military knew I did this. They bought me for their weapons program. They're flying right by. I'm safe. Like you're shredding secret documents. You don't have a bunch of pigs in your room, do you? Hi, uh, what's up, everyone? Did I hear oinking in here? Uh, <laughs> you think there's pigs in my blanket? The smell in this room does have a certain funk to it, doesn't it? You should be a science fiction writer, Mom. You and your crazy ideas like pigs in the bedroom. How would a bunch of pigs get in the house? Fly down from the sky? He does have a point. I've uh, never seen an airborne pig. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I missed one. But where? Hey, is that a pig? That curly tail tells me it may just be. Oh. 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 Whoa, he's saying hi. <laughs> you, get rid of it. No, he wants to stay. Can I keep him, please? Don't make me use the Lord. <laughs> you know our house rule. No pets. Abby, look at me. Why do fathers learn that look? In some special school? Come on, little pig. It's not fair, but I have to give you away. Oh. Huh? Oh. Uh. Now stop. No fear giving me that sad eyed look. Oh. I won't, I won't, I won't do this. It's too hard when you look at me that way. Ah! Oh. 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 It's not fair. His little oinking is so cute and pathetic. I don't have the heart to live. Oh. 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 You just stay put and you'll be safe here, little guy. Someone will come along and want to take you home. This one's mine! I don't know what it is about you, pig. I just know we're meant to be together. Ah, oh, there's nothing like the love between a boy and his pig. go erase you from my diary and you disappear. Ah, I can't. I could never do something.
something so cruel and possibly illegal. Aha! But I could draw you differently. So you mean like coloring in purple? Oh. I could draw you as a monster 50 feet high, Pigzilla. The most fearsome creature ever to crush cardboard buildings. The people would scream, fleeing your awesome rampage in terror. <sighs> but then, I'd have to erase you anyway. If I can't keep a little pig at home, I for sure can't keep a 50-foot pig monster. Imagine the food bills. And who knows what a pigzilla eats anyway? Gigantic corn cobs or turnips? And hey, what are you doing back up? <laughs> and it's all my fault. him not to come home and try to do his homework. Maybe he had a flat tire or something. He was walking, dear. It's that gosh darn look of yours that sent him away. You want the look? You want the look? You can't handle the look! Is that pig trying to tell us something? Do you, uh, need the tinkle, fella? We apologize for that inappropriate dialogue. Uh -huh. Hey, look who's up! Spencer, we were so worried about you when we found you just lying there in the park. <laughs> you look so darn comfy, we almost left you. But how did you guys know to look for me in the park? Because your little friend showed us. Yeah! <laughs> what friend? I told you, no pigs in the house! Oh, my! Again, this little pig went to market. This little piggy wants my pants! Hey, Lego, come on, Lego! So, my pig? Yes, dear. He didn't want pants at all. He wanted us to come help you. That's one smart pig. Where is he now? See for yourself. Huh? Little pig? It's you. <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy to see you again. And from the sound of it, I'd say your little porky pal is happy to see you too, Spence. Or he's got gas. Thank you, little pig. I owe you one. Aren't they cute together? A boy and his pig. Only in America. Yay! 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 
See then, we've decided to change the no pets in the house rule. Wow, so he can stay? That's right. I'm gonna name you Sunny Pig since you came down from the sky, okay? Okay, now let's talk about that smell in your room. How did one pig raise such a stink? So, just like I said it would, everything worked out fine. And that's our show, everyone. Pay up. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> So that's how Sunny Pig became part of our family. Mom apologized for reading my diary, but she and Dad never did ask where Sunny Pig came from. Good thing, too, they wouldn't have believed how it all started. And whatever magic it was that made it all happen, well, there's a lot more where that came from.